Russian commandos employ latest UPA drone in Ukraine operation. Russian Special Operations Forces operating in the Svatovo Kremenaya area have begun employing the latest UPA or Vampire First Person View drones in the special military operation in Ukraine, a spokesman for the drones manufacturer told TASS. Earlier, UPA drones were employed in the Donetsk area and in the Grevoronsky district of the Belgorod region bordering Ukraine, which helped pull back equipment five kilometers in depth and in Kherson, where these unmanned aerial vehicles reduced the intensity of the Ukrainian army's attempts to cross the Dnieper River by boats. As the military say, our drone has already had time to prove its worth in heavy fighting. An UPIA team operating under enemy fire wiped out Ukrainian forces sheltered in strongholds. Despite the complex wooded area and terrain height differences, the drone's maneuverability helps strike enemy dugouts and other targets. The spokesperson said, Russian commandos have managed to adapt to wooded terrain, he said. They use it as natural camouflage which helps approach targets at lower altitudes and at a slower speed and strike dugouts literally through the front door, he said. The UPIA first-person view drone was engineered in the Sverdlovsk region in the Urals and is designed to strike enemy targets in the front's depth and wipe out armor at sheltered positions. The drone can carry grenades for RPG-7 grenade launchers such as PG-7VL rockets, RKG-3M anti-tank hand grenades and also high-explosive fragmentation shells made by the military directly on the battlefield. A team of engineers has created an aerial rebroadcasting transmitter that has doubled the UPIA drone's operational range.